Hey YouTube Opinionative Reviewer here, bringing you guys an unusual video. Yes, this is an unusual video. It's not one of my regular iOS videos. This one is actually on WebOS. It's on HP Touchpad and I will be doing more videos on this now since a lot of people probably got it for the $99. They all, even $150 for the 32 gig since they went on sale. A lot more people probably will be getting these or have already got them. And these videos are mostly directed to the noobs, so to speak. The average user probably already know how to do some of this stuff. Some of them will be noobish videos, some of them will be complex videos. If you already know how to do this stuff and don't care about this video, just you just like my Apple videos, then skip over this video. So yes, this one is on the HP Touchpad and this one is a simple video showing users how to update the HP Touchpads that has been shipped there on 3.0.0 and there's actually an update which is 3.0.2 and I'm going to show you viewers how to update your software to the newest software for any software that comes out after this so yes the first thing you're gonna do is hit the menu button and if you wanna see what web OS software your iDevice is running you can hit the device info tab right here and let's let that load up and it's gonna bring up the web OS right there as you can see I'm on 3.0.0 and I'm gonna update to 3.0.2 so that's how you can see the version right there. You can also see a lot of stuff if you hit more info, but you guys can check that out for yourself. We're not really in interested in that. You just wanted to see what WebOS your, ID, your device was running. So now what we're going to do is hit the menu button again, and we're going to hit Systems Update. It looks like a little gift package right there. And you're going to hit that. It's going to check for the update. After the device is finished locating the update, you can see this update is version 3.0.2 and depends on when you're watching this video, you might see a different number. So if you watch this video probably three months from now, you probably will see a different number because HP discontinued this product, but they still will be maintaining software support. So that's good to hear. So this is the update that I'm, I have to update to, which is 3.0.0. And now we're going to update to that. So all we got to do is hit the download button right there. Say download now. And this is actually a progress bar. So you see the how far your download has progressed as it goes on. So this is going to take a little while. It's only 38 megabytes. Shouldn't take that long. Depend on your internet speed. But I'm going to come back after this update is finished. So after the update has finished downloading, it's now time to install. And you got to make sure that your battery percentage is above 50%. If your battery percentage is not above 50%, it's not going to let you start the install process even if your ID even if your device is plugged in it's still not gonna allow you to start the process so your battery must be above 50 percent so now all you gotta do is hit the install button and now it's gonna install it's gonna start the install process as you can see it's already started so I'm gonna come back when that is finished so after the installation process is finished, it's going to go through the entire installation process, reboot your device and all that good stuff. Your device should now be on latest web OS. As you can see, I'm on the latest one at this moment that I'm making this video, which is 3.0.2. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. You can see what web OS 3.0.2, the updates, what it brings. It improves a couple of things, etc., etc. So yeah, you guys already know there'll be a link in the description to an in-depth written tutorial if you want to view that. The, the entire process probably took me a, a while because the download was being interrupted in between. I don't know why. It, just, it got interrupted like 15 to 20 times and I just had to start it. But the good thing is I didn't have to start over from finish when I click download again it would start over from where it stopped last but you can also use the device while it's it's downloading in the background so you just use the device it'll be downloaded in the background you can browse the the app store for web os etc etc so yeah I'll be bringing you guys more videos on this so if you aren't subscribed and your HP touchpad user Make sure to hit the subscribe button so you can catch up on all these videos. So that's basically it, guys. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.